वेलकम आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस लेक्चर इन द कोर्स संधि इन पाणिनियन ग्रामर इन दिस लेक्चर वी कंटिन्यू स्टडिंग द विसर्ग संधि इन दिस कोर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अच संधि एंड हल संधि दीज आर टू very crucial very important chapters as part of the traditional curriculum called panchasandhi prakaranam the next chapter in the panchasandhi prakarana is visarga sandhi and we are studying visarga sandhi we stated that visarga sandhi is the sandhi that substitutes the visarga we also said that visarga is itself a substitute it replaces r coming at the end of the pad in the environment of khar and avasana following and then in place of this visarga in the environment of khar once again the sandhi happens the modifications happen which is what is being studied in this particular chapter called visarga sandhi so what is a visarga sandhi visarga sandhi is a sandhi in place of a visarga visarga is a substituent and in its place sounds like s and visarga itself and also zero are substituted so visarga is the input and in its place x representing all such substitutes they get substituted this is what is visarga sandhi we have already studied one set of sutras namely karavasana yor visarjaniya visarjaniyasya saha sharpare visarjaniya va shari and we also studied the vartika kharpare shari va visargalopo vaktavya and finally kupwak pauch this is the other set of sutras that we will study in the course of the study of the visarga sandhi we have to study in this lecture the sutras mentioned on the left hand side sopadadau enashah namaspurasor gatyoho विदुदुपधस्य चाप्रत्ययस्य तिरसोन्यतरस्याम एंड द्विस्त्रिश चतुरिति कृत्वोर्थे सो पदादौ इज 8338 इनशः 8339 नमस्पुरसोर्गत्योः 8340 विदुदुपधस्य चाप्रत्ययस्य 8341 तिरसोन्यतरस्याम 8342 and dvistrish chaturiti grutvorthe 8343 and in the next lecture we shall study part of this second set in the form of the following sutras isuso samarthye 8344 nityam samase anuttara padasthasya 8345 atah krukami kamsa kumbha patra kusha karani shvanavyayasya 8346 adhashirasi pade 8347 and finally kaska dishucha in this lecture let us concentrate on the sutras beginning with so padadau 8338 one common feature of all these sutras is that they all are stated in 8.3 which is part of the asiddha section which means that the output of all these sutras cannot become the input 
for the sutras stated from 1.1 onwards up to 8.1 in the Ashtadhyayi. In the Swadhi Sandhi chapter that we shall study later on, we will also see an exception to this particular feature. However, let us concentrate on Sopadadau and study this sutra first. Sopadadau is 8.338. This sutra consists of two padas, Saha and Apadadau. Saha is 1 slash 1 of Sa, referring to the sound Sa. Also, 1 slash 1 indicates that this is the substitute. The other pada is Apadadau, 7 slash 1 of Apadadi. Apadadi has got two constituents, A and Padadi. Padadi has got two constituents, Pada and Adi, Padasya Adi. So, Padadi means at the beginning of the Pada. Apadadi means not at the beginning of a Pada. So, Apadadau qualifies another word in the seventh case that is followed from the previous sutra, namely Kupvoho. So, Kupvoho is 7 slash 2 of Kupu. Kupu refers to Ku and Pu. Ku refers to Kavarga, but in this case refers to only to Ka and Kha. And Pu refers to Pavarga, but in this case it refers to only Pa and Pha. So, Kupvoho 7 slash 2 means immediately before Kupu. Now, this 7 slash 1 and this 7 slash 2, they are both in the same case. So, Apadadav is the qualifier of Kupuoho. Visarjaniyasya is 6 slash 1, which means in place of the Visarjaniya. So, this is the substituent, this is the substitute. These are the environments. So, the meaning of the Sutra is the following. Immediately before Kupu, which do not occur at the beginning of the Pada, in place of a Visarjaniya, substitute Sa. I repeat, immediately before Kupu, which do not occur at the beginning of the Pada, in place of a Visarjaniya, substitute Sa. Visarjaniya is the substituent, Sa is the substitute. Now, the Vartika further reduces the scope of application of this particular sutra. So, when you say immediately before Kupu, it could mean any word beginning with Ka and Pa and so on. But the Vartika specifies the scope of application by saying that Kupu here stands for only these four elements. Which one? Pasha, Kalpa, Ka, and Kamya, these four elements. All these four are the Pratyayas. Pasha, Kalpa and Ka are the Taddhida Pratyayas and Kamya is a Pratyaya which is added after a Subanta to get the output in the form of a verbal root. So, when these four suffixes follow, obviously Pa and Ka then is not at the beginning of the Pada. So, it is a Padadi, it is within a Pada. And so, the right hand side environment is restricted to these four suffixes, Pasha, Kalpa, Ka and Kamya. And so, we get the following examples, Payas plus Pasha and Pasha is the Pratyaya. Now, Sa in Payas appears at the end of a Pada and so, it gets substituted by Ru and then it gets substituted by a Visarga. So, we have Payaha and Pasha. So, Kharavasana or Visarjaniyaha has applied here because Pa appears in Khar. So, this Ra is substituted by a Visarga. So, we have Payaha and Pasha. 
and then Sopadadu applies and when Pasha is following, this Visarga at the end of Payaha is substituted by Sa. And so we get the finally derived form Payas Pasha. Payas Pasha. Similarly, Yashas and Kalpa. Once again, Sa coming at the end of the Pada in Yashas, internal Pada in Yashas. And so it was also at the end of an internal Pada in Payas, in the example Payas Pasha. So this Sa at the end of Yashas is substituted by Ru, which in its turn is substituted by a Visarga, by the Sutra Kharvasanayor Visarjaniyaha because Ka is following. Now 8338 applies and substitutes this Visarga by Sa and so we get Yashas plus Kalpa that is Yashas Kalpa. Similarly Yashas plus Ka once again Sa appears at the end of the Pada so it is substituted by Ru then it is substituted by a Visarga by the Sutra Kharavasanayor Visarjaniyaha and so we have Yashaha plus Ka then 8338 applies and substitutes this Visarga by Sa. So we get Yashas plus Ka that is Yashas Ka. Then we have Yashas plus Kamya which is the verbal root and T is added then. So Yashas appears at the end of the Pada and then we have Sa being substituted by R, Ru and then it is substituted by a Visarga by the Sutra Kharavasanayor Visarjaniyaha. Then this Visarga is substituted by Sa by application of 8338 and we have Yashas Kamyati. Let us now study the next sutra, Inaha Shaha, 8.3.39. This sutra has got two padas, Inaha and Shaha. Inaha is 5 slash 1 of In, which means immediately after In. And Shaha is 1 slash 1 of Sh, referring to the sound Sh. Visarjani Yasya is continuing and also Pasha Kalpaka Kamyeshviti Vacham, which reduces the scope of this particular sutra. So Visarjaniya is the substituent, Sha is the substitute. When Visarjaniya comes immediately after in, it is to be substituted by Sha. When Pasha Kalpaka and Kamya are following. So the meaning of the sutra can be stated likewise, like this. Substitute the Visarjaniya which comes immediately after in by Sha when followed immediately by Pasha, Kalpa, Ka and Kamya. I repeat, substitute the Visarjaniya which comes immediately after in by Sha. So place Sha in place of a Visarjaniya when this Visarjaniya is followed by Pasha, Kalpa, Ka and Kamya. So this is the example, Sarpis plus Pasha. Now Sarpis has got S preceded by E that is N. Now this S is substituted by Ru and then Ru is substituted by a Visarga. Now this Visarga is such that there is N immediately before it and P in Pasha immediately after it. So this Visarga gets substituted by Sh by this particular sutra Inaha Shaha. And so we get Sarpesh Pasha, finally Sarpesh Pasha as the output. Similarly, Sarpesh plus Kalpa and this Sa will be substituted by Ru, which will be substituted by a Visarga. So we have Sarpihi plus Kalpa and this Visarga will get substituted by Sha by the application of the present sutra Inaha Shaha and so we have Sarpesh plus Kalpa that is Sarpesh Kalpa. 
then we have surface plus k and s at the end of surface is substituted by r which will be substituted by s. So, we have surpihi plus k. Now, in this visarga we find following conditions fulfilled. This visarga is preceded immediately by e that is n and is followed by the suffix k. So, inashaha applies and substitutes this visarga by sh. So, we have sarpish plus k that is sarpish k. And then we have sarpish plus kamyati and we then we get sarpihi plus kamyati. Now, this visarga is such that it is preceded immediately by an e which is in and followed by kamya and so we apply this particular sutra and substitutes sh in place of the visarga. So, we have sarpesh plus kamyati that is sarpesh kamyati. Let us now study the next sutra namas purasor gatyoho. This is 8340. This sutra has got two padas namas purasor and gatyoho. Namas Purasur is 6 slash 2 of Namas Puras, which is made up of two gatis or nipatas or avyayas, namely Namas and Puras. Namas Purasoho 6 slash 2 means part of. Gatyoho is also 6 slash 2 of the term gati. Gati refers to a class of words which are similar in function to preverbs. The words continued are visarjaniyasya in place of a visarjaniya, the substituent, kupvoho 7 slash 2 of kupu and saha 1 slash 1 of sa referring to the sound sa indicating that this is the substitute. So, here we have visarjaniya as the substituent and sa as the substitute. The meaning of the sutra is this immediately before ku and pu in place of a visarjaniya which is part of the gatis namely namas and puras substitute sa. I repeat immediately before ku and pu in place of visarjaniya which is part of the gatis namely namas and puras substitute sa. Here are the examples namas plus karoti. So, namas has got sa at the end which is then substituted by ru which is then substituted by a visarga by kharavasanaya or visarjaniyaha. So, we have namaha plus karoti. Now, this sutra 8340 applies and substitutes this visarga by sa. So, we get namas plus karoti, namas karoti. There is scope of application of kupoka paucha getting applied in all these cases and also puras plus karoti. Similarly, sa is substituted by visarga and then visarga is substituted once again by sa by the application of this particular sutra 8340. So, we get puras karoti. Sakshat prabhruti nicha is a sutra which grants gati saudhnya to namas and purovyayam grants gati saudhnya to puras. Let us go to the next sutra idu dupadhasya cha pratyayasya 8341 idu dupadhasya cha pratyayasya. There are three padas in this sutra idu dupadhasya cha and apratyayasya. Idu Dupadhasya is 6 slash 1 of Idu Dupadha. Idu Dupadha is made up of Idu Upadha and Udu Padha. Idu Padha means It Upadha Yasya, Udu Padha means Ut Upadha Yasya. So, this is a description of the Visarjaniya which has got It that is short E as its Upadha and short U as its Upadha. Upadha is the penultimate sound. 
So Visarga comes at the end of the Pada and this is preceded immediately by either E or U, then the Visarga can be called Idupadha or Udupadha. Cha means and and Apratyayasya which is 6 slash 1 of Apratyaya means not part of a suffix. So we want a Visarga which is not part of a Pratyaya and which is preceded immediately by either E or U. Now in place of such a Visarga, this Sutra says substitute Sh. If this Visarga is followed by Kupu, Kupu Ho, 7 slash 2. So the meaning of the Sutra is this. Immediately before Kupu, that is K, Kh and Purpha, in place of a Visarjaniya, which is not a part of a suffix and which is preceded immediately by short E and short U, substitute Sh. I repeat, immediately before Kupu, in place of a Visarjaniya, which is not a part of a suffix and which is also immediately preceded by short E and short U, substitute Sh. This can be represented in the form of an equation in the following manner. So if this is Pada and this is the final element of the Pada which is a Visarga and if it is preceded immediately by either E or U, if this is the case and followed by Ku or Pu, then this Visarga gets substituted by Sh. And E or U followed by Sh at the end of the Pada plus Ku or Pu is the output generated by this particular Sutra Idudupadhasya Chapratyayasya. Let us look at the example Nis plus Pratyuha. This is a compound. So Nis has got Sa at the end followed by Pratyuha that begins with Pa. Now this Sa is preceded by E. So this is Idupadha, Idupadha Sa. Then this Sa gets substituted by Ru which gets substituted by a Visarga. Now this Visarga in Nihi, it is such that it is immediately preceded by an E, short E. So this Visarga is Idupadha. In place of this Idupadha Visarga and this is also not part of a Pratyaya. So in place of such a Visarga, substitute Sh. This is what this Sutra says. And so we have Nish Pratyuha as the output generated by the application of this Sutra 8341. Similarly, we have Dus plus Krita. Dus is also a Nipata like Nis. So Sa is not at the end of a Pratyaya and this Sa is immediately preceded by U. So this is Udupadha Sa. This Sa is substituted by Ru and Ru is substituted by Visarga. So now we have Duhu plus Krita where Visarga is preceded by U. So this is Udupadha Visarga. Now this Visarga is substituted by Sha by the application of this Sutra Idudupadhasya Chapratyayasya 8341 and so the output generated is Dush plus Krita that is Dushkrita. Similarly, Bahis plus Pita and once again Sa is substituted by Visarga first by Ru and then by Visarga. So we have Bahihi plus Pita. Now this Visarga is such that it is immediately preceded by E. So this is Idupadha Visarga. So this Visarga is substituted by Sh by the application of this particular Sutra and we get Bahish Pita. And also Avis plus Krita, Avihi plus Krita. This Visarga is such that it is preceded by E. So this is Idupadha Visarga and it is also not part of a Pratyaya, so was the case with Bahihi and it is followed by 
kur and so this visarga gets substituted by sh and so we get the form avish plus krita that is avish krita. Let us study the next sutra that is tirasonya tarasyam 8342. This sutra has got two padas tirasaha 6 slash 1 of tiras which is part of tiras and anyatarasyam which means optionally. The words continued from the previous sutras are visarjani yasya which means in place of kupvoho 7 slash 2 of kupu and saha which is 1 slash 1 of sa. So visarjani yasya refers to the substituent which is a visarjaniya and saha refers to the substitute which is sa. So in place of a visarjaniya substitute sa. If this sa is part of tiras and if this sa is followed immediately by kupu. Now this substitute sa is optional. So the sutra means this immediately before ku and pu in place of a visarjaniya which is part of tiras substitute sounds sa optionally. I repeat immediately before ku and pu in place of a visarjaniya which is part of tiras substitute sounds sa optionally. So we have tiras plus karoti as an example. This sa uh, comes at the end of the pada, so it's substituted by ru, which in its turn is substituted by visarga. Now this visarga is such that it is part of tiras, and also it is followed by k. So this particular sutra eight three forty two applies and substitutes this visarga optionally. So we get the form tiras karoti as the output generated or tiraha karoti which is the optional derivation. Let us study the next sutra which is dvistrish chaturiti krutvorthe which is 8343. This sutra has got two padas dvistri chaturiti and krutvorthe. Dvistri chaturiti refers to the words dvis, tris and chatur. Krutvorthe 7 slash 1 of krutvortha is in the sense of the suffix krutvas which refers to the frequency of the action. The words continued from the previous sutra are visarjani yasya that is in place of kupvoho 7 slash 2 of kupu shaha which is 1 slash 1 of sha and anyatarasyam which means optionally. So this sutra says that visarjaniya is the substituent and sha is the substitute provided that this visarjaniya is part of dvis, tris and chatur which are used in the sense of frequency and this substitution sha is done optionally. So the meaning is this immediately before ku and pu in place of a visarjaniya which is part of the words dvis, tris and chatur in the sense of frequency substitute sh optionally. I repeat immediately before ku and pu in place of a visarjaniya which is part of the words dvis, tris and chatur in the sense of frequency substitute sh optionally. So we have dvis plus karoti where sa comes at the end of the pada. So it's substituted by ru which is substituted by a visarga and so we have dvihi plus karoti. This visarga is then substituted by sha. So we have dvish karoti and finally we get dvish karoti as an optional derivation. To summarize we studied a peculiar type of sandhi in the form of substitutions in place of a visarga so far. We noted that sa, sh, jivhamuliya and upadmaniya are some of the substitutions 
of Visarga that we have studied so far. We also noted that these substitutions apply in various environments. By default, meaning is not directly stated to be an input for these rules to apply and these substitutions to take place. Next, we study the next set of sutras dealing with the Visarga Sandhi in the next lecture. Thank you for your patience.